for you if you guys haven't subscribed yet please subscribe i would really really appreciate it i can't believe how much my youtube is growing it's so amazing to see in today's video i am filming a drugstore more affordable product something a bit more summer inspired so if you guys want to see how to create this look please keep watching okay guys so let's get started please do not mind this head situation we have here i've got baby hairs everywhere my hair's in a bun it's so hot in london especially with all these lights at the moment so in the mail i received quite a few makeup revolution eyeshadow palettes i received a total of seven palettes i actually got eight but one smashed in the post and it literally got red eyeshadow everywhere all over these palettes i had to clean them all up i feel like it is a bit much to release so many eyeshadow palettes all in one launch but i guess the more the merrier. I do have to say, when I first looked at these palettes, I was like, wow, this is quite a cool dupe. Like, this actually reminds me of the Subculture palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I love this pinky one right here. This is calling out my name. A very, very warm. The only thing is I find that there's not enough light and darks in this palette is quite one tone and then i also really like this eyeshadow palette called iconic fever and i really like the fact it goes from light middle and then it's got some dark tones in there as well so there's some in here that are just mattes like this one is the basic matte palette but most of them have a mixture between shimmers and also matte shades like this one's so cute this one is like more purple it's called visionary so i'm going to try to use some really affordable products in this video for you guys so i'm going to use this palette here this palette i don't know why but it reminds me of like lime crime you know that like how you look at lime crime xl palette or the lime crime venus palette and stuff like they all have these kind of like peachy pink tones so i'm using the neutrals too today like the way they spelled neutrals is quite funny so these are the kind of tones we're gonna go for i am gonna use an eyeshadow base i've been really really liking the one from p louise so i'm gonna use her original shade i think this one's called rumor i'm just gonna put a bit on the back of my hand and then i'm just gonna grab a little small makeup sponge this is just literally like a dry sponge it's not even damp and i'm just gonna tap this all over the eyes I saw a makeup artist live, oh my god, I forgot her name, I think her name's like Stacey, um, and she was using a sponge instead of a brush, and I was like, genius, because sometimes when I use a makeup brush, I find that it doesn't get like an even application on the eye. The only thing about sponges is that you have to make sure you don't go on top of your eyebrows, so I just filmed a little tutorial on my eyebrows for Instagram, but I do have a whole video for my eyebrows on YouTube that goes really, really in depth, so make sure you check that out on my channel, guys. Okay, and then we're also going to go underneath the eyes. Okay, so that rumor shade is quite light, but I hope it's going to make everything pop out of the eyeshadow palette. Okay, so I'm going to start off with a Morphe M73 brush. Okay, so I'm going to use this shade right at the bottom here, quite a bright pink. I want this look to be very peachy, pinky, perfect for summertime makeup look. So I'm just going to put this on all over on the outer corners. So recently I have been really struggling to get back into the UK time zone because I've been so used to LA times and I'm just sleeping at like such funny times. So at night time I've been catching up on people's Instagram stories and watching people's lives. I kind of stopped watching makeup tutorials for a long time because I just found I didn't have the time and when I wanted to watch something I wanted to watch something more entertaining just makeup tutorials but I actually really enjoy like learning new techniques, seeing what other products people use because sometimes like you just get into your own routine and just fall into a trap of just using just like your items and not trying out new brands and stuff so yeah i'm feeling a lot more motivated for sure so the eyeshadow is definitely going on really really nicely i don't know if it's because of the base that's kind of enhancing i'm pretty sure it probably is but it's actually blending out really really well so i was watching p louise's instagram stories and she was saying how the trick to get the eyeshadow to be really really strong is to really pack on before you blend out so normally whenever i apply on eyeshadow i normally just focus on blending but what she does is just keep going back on top of the eyeshadow i just keep packing on the product and then she blends out after which is quite cool and then you just go in with a clean brush this is a my kit co pro my tapered crease brush and then you just slightly blend out the edges with just a clean brush i think that's what i like so much about makeup there's like always gonna be new products coming out there's always gonna be new trends so it never really gets old okay so i'm kind of happy with this depth of color now and now i'm gonna to start to blend out a bit higher so i need to go with a transition shade i'm gonna use this bottom shade right here right next to that pink that i just used and it's like a light rosy kind of shade and now i'm gonna go slightly higher and just blend out that crease also, the higher you go with your eyeshadow, the wider your eyes will look. So if you kind of keep your eyeshadow quite small, your eyes are going to look quite small. But if you do have a lot of lid space, you should definitely use it up because it will make your eyes look a bit more open. And I'm also just taking this 
right on the inner corners as well so i'm actually going to be away for a lot of august so i do have to pre-film a lot of videos which is so stressful guys it's one of the most stressful things because i travel so much with my work sometimes grant gets to go with me and sometimes he doesn't and it's actually more stressful when he doesn't because he can only do so much by himself i have to be with him to approve all his videos that he edits and stuff he only does the first draft of everything and then it's up to me to approve it and go over it and do any like final touches that i want to do okay so i want to kind of darken this crease just a little bit on the outer corners the shades in here are not that dark but maybe i'll try using this one right here or maybe i can try this one actually i'll mix these two together this one's a bit more reddish and this one's a bit more brown okay i just want to carve out my crease just a little bit more yes i like it guys a lot of times when you guys do your makeup do you guys kind of have an idea of what you guys want to do or do you guys just like see an eyeshadow and then just kind of play around with it i feel like i should kind of like plan my looks a bit more but most of the times when i'm trying to do eyeshadow looks i just kind of like go with the flow and see what the palette does to inspire me but i don't know if that's a good way to do it because when i'm doing tutorials i don't know how to explain what i'm doing because i don't know what i'm doing at the same time so i'm kind of winging this eyeshadow out and i'm kind of leaving this bit blank and i really want to do something just really light here recently i've been seeing a lot of people on instagram do like really really light colors on the inner corners like almost whitish so i want to do something similar like that so i'm going to use a smaller little smudge brush this is from charlotte tilbury it's called the eye smudger so i'm going to go with this orangey shade right here it's like a matte orange i'm just going to smudge this underneath my lash line so you want to use quite a thick brush for this the smaller the brush it'll be a bit more precise but i want it quite blended so depending on the brush it will give you a different effect can you even see that as an orange or does it just totally match the top i remember i used to wear oranges on my eyes all the time back in the days i used to use raw eyeshadow from mac all the time that was like my go-to orange and then i'm just going to use that blending brush earlier and then just blend it out whatever's left on this brush oh my god there's so much eyeshadow in my eye it's like all foggy I love wearing colours like this on my eyes. I can only imagine if I had blue eyes, my eyes would pop right about now. So the other day, I went to a festival called Love Box, which is quite a big festival in the UK. And it used to be in Victoria Park, but now it's moved to like West London now. And I thought I wouldn't like it as much because I'm not that much of a festival girl. I just went because all my friends were there. I went with Lottie London. My friends went with Stila. We met up at the event even though it was so far for me but i actually had such a good time and there was a point where it was like raining and we was waiting for skepta to come out who's like a really big uk grime artist and even though i'm not even that much of a fan of his music but there was just a moment where it was like raining i was looking around and i was like wow i can't believe there's so many people here literally just to see this one person live i just thought that's just so crazy that music has that much of an effect on people where you would queue out in the rain waiting for this one person to come on and then when they play like a certain track everyone goes crazy and i just thought wow that's just so weird i don't know what do you guys think have you guys been to festivals this year do you guys like festivals it's a very weird thing like i would only go if i'm with like a really good bunch of friends because i actually don't drink alcohol so it's a very very strange place when you're sober because <laughs> everyone there is just so drunk and high on drugs and stuff and i was in a vip area so it's a bit different a bit more calm in there but as soon as we left i was just like wow there's a lot of high ass people there and i actually got to meet so many of you guys so many of you guys were drunk that came up to me as well which is a bit like oh hello so i just buff that all out under my eyes make it really nice and smoky i need to remember to keep looking at this this camera lens i keep looking over here when my one or two is i'm like i just want to look at myself so vain okay so in here you guys can obviously go for any shade that you guys want there is a couple of shimmers here there's like this light pinky kind of shade which is quite nice it's not that pigmented though i'm not gonna lie and then there's also this color that's really pretty Ooh. i do like this idea of a matte shade on my lid but i feel like it might be a bit chalky so i'm gonna go in with a shimmer and i'm gonna use another palette which is called iconic fever this palette is totally these kind of vibes as well it's a bit more like brownie though it's got this cute ass orange in here but i'm going to use this shade right here at the top and then i'm just going to pat this all over my eyes oh i'm just going to use my finger because i feel like with my finger i can press the pigment a lot stronger oh i've got a notification on my phone it's very chalky oh i don't know if i like this eyeshadow it's very powdery guys very very powdery it almost looks quite cakey on my eyes. I don't know if you guys can see. It looks like I've got 10 million lines on my eyes right now. <laughs> it does look really nice and bright though. I'm just going to pat it on all over that 
blank space here. Okay, so I'm going to just use a brush and just dust away any pigment that hasn't been properly packed on, just so it's not so dusty anymore. That eyeshadow went everywhere, it's all over my cheeks. I can't even brush it away because it get crushed in. Okay, so on the inner corners, I'm going to pack on that same eyeshadow again because my fingers have nails on and I can't get right up in there. So I'm going to do a bright uh, dab right here where I normally apply glitter, but I won't be applying on no glitter today, I don't think. I just want to keep this bit really nice and bright on the inner corners. I might even go in with this white from my original Neutrals palette. And I want this bit to like proper pop out. It's quite weird doing shimmers on here and then matte on the inner corners, but okay, quite cute. Matte white is actually a really hard colour to use because it ends up being very dusty. So you have to make sure you care for and make sure you pack on because sometimes if you don't pack it on right, if you haven't got a good eyeshadow base, it kind of goes see-through and it goes a bit grainy. Okay, this is cute. I don't think I'm going to apply on any eyeliner. I'm just going to apply some mascara on. So I've been loving this Milk Makeup Kush Mascara. The only thing is, it does have a lot of like excess residue that comes, especially at this base bit. So you have to make sure you wipe that off, otherwise you get a big glob of mascara. This mascara is really nice because it's super lengthening and it's quite thickening as well. So if you guys didn't know, I'm actually in the process of doing up my beauty room. But I would love to know any videos that you guys have seen on YouTube about beauty gurus, makeup setup and stuff. I want the room to be like the filming room and also where they keep their makeup. A lot of people have like a separate room for each but I want all my makeup and all everything to be in one room. If you guys have seen any really good videos on YouTube about people's lighting setup, makeup storage, please comment below. I really need some ideas. I'm super stuck. I literally have like two pairs of bottom lash. That's like the one thing that I wish I could change. I wish I had naturally nice eyelashes. Like I kind of hate the fact that I always have to wear lashes to make a look pop, you know. It's very annoying. Look at these things that are called cool eyelashes. They suck. Okay, so I just got my lashes on. And these are really nice and fluffy. They're really, really dark and they're quite lightweight. I had to put on quite a lot of mascara to make sure it kind of really pops out and stands out. So I'm going to move on to my lips next. I'm going to go for something a bit more bolder and not just like a nude. So I'm going to go in this Lottie London Glitter Switch. This is like a new shade. I haven't tried this one before. It's called High Roller. You can buy Lottie London in Superdrug and also in Ulta and Riley Rose if you're in America. Oh my god, it smells so good. Do you guys remember those bubble gum that used to have tattoos in them? It smells exactly like that. So if you guys have never tried the glitter switches from Lottie London before, they're one of my favourite products because they're so cool. They give a really nice glitter finish to it. Obviously you can wear it matte, but you want to wait until it's almost dry and then you blot your lips together and there's that glitter that runs through it. So super pretty. It, really good for photos. Amazing if you want to make your lips look bigger but you don't want to wear lip gloss because it's a bit more sticky and then these are so long wearing so i'm going to wait until this completely dries and then i'm going to block my lips together and show you the glitter that runs through it and while i wait for that i'm just going to do my hair quickly because this is just crazy okay guys so i just put my hair into a half up down ponytail i'm so bad at hair but i'm going to block my lips so you guys can see what the glitter looks like mm. so depending on how much you block your lips the more glitter comes out but I really like because it, it doesn't feel tacky at all. So really, really comfortable on your lips. And it's a really nice like pinky purple glitter that runs through it. If you guys don't know, Lottie London is the sister brand of Ciate. So they do the glitter flips. And then these are the glitter switches. So a bit more affordable. So yeah, really, really cute. I love this colour on the lips. I normally go for like nude. So I'm really, really glad this one is a slightly darker, still a nudey kind of pinky shade. Okay guys, so that's it for this makeup tutorial. I hope you guys liked how it turned out using some more affordable products. Would you guys be buying some Makeup Revolution products? Let me know down below. Overall, it was a really, really good quality. The eyeshadow base definitely freaking makes the eyeshadow blend out a lot smoother, I think. So the eyeshadow base is literally only like £10. So you guys can go check that out. We'll leave all the products that I use in today's video in my description box. So make sure you check that out. If you guys haven't yet, please make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. I upload on here twice a week. And also make sure you follow me on all my other social media platforms. It's just X Tweely on Snapchat, Twitter, Instagram and Facebook. And I'll see you guys in another video. Bye guys. Enjoy the bloopers. Oh God. Pick this off for backup backup i need backup i hate when brands do this this bloody sellotape do you know what the review makeup revolution there's a dog in here i just heard him sigh what the hell what the hell
that ethical hell. Oh my god, my armpits are sweating. It is so hot here right now. Even my hair is damp with sweat. <laughs> oh my god, it's seven. I'm meant to be at the restaurant at seven, girl.